of you may have noticed I've taken a bit of a YouTube holiday and I wanted to explain what's been going on at the homestead and why I haven't been making videos. So on Saturday we um, tried to help one of the lambs that we rescued um, and he didn't make it. When we, brought, when we brought him home he was sick. He um, wasn't walking around when the rangers um, handed over ownership of the lambs to us. And so we knew that there wasn't a great possibility that he would survive and he didn't. We're just checking on the lambs this morning and we've noticed that the one that wasn't doing too good that we had to put in the back of the car on the way home, he's on his side. So we're going to give him some electrolytes. Hopefully he's a little bit dehydrated because he was scouring. I don't know why he was scouring because there was no green grass over there. Um, but they did have issues. Um, they lost a mum, they lost a lamb and then this one went down. So I'm not sure why. Um, but we are keeping them in quarantine for a reason because if it is something that's contagious we don't want our flock to get it um so we're hoping that some electrolytes will pick this little guy up um and if not he probably won't make it till tonight um yeah it's a pretty crappy situation they were willing to take him um, and put him to sleep but we thought we would bring him home and see if we could help him out so just got our electrolyte mix up and we're going to just put it in the drenching gun and slowly give it to him and hopefully if he's a bit dehydrated this should hopefully pick him up a bit but because he's on his side now he's not looking too good. Wait a minute, Israel. So unfortunately, just after we gave him the electrolytes, um, he passed away. He wasn't looking too good yesterday and probably the stress of the move didn't help him out at all. Um, yeah, so hopefully... These guys behind me, hopefully they don't catch whatever it is that the others had. Hopefully it's not something that's catchy. Um, and that we can just get these guys strong enough that they can thrive here. Then that afternoon we went to our friend's house and we got to see their homestead. I met this lady on Instagram, but I had met her through work before. And it was, they've come and they've come to our farm and it was really nice to go to theirs and see what they're doing on their homestead. They have emus so I got to overcome my fear of emus and hand feed some emus. <laughs> 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 yeah, they're like the feet! <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of friendly. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, I felt it. Yeah. They keep ripping their their, their arms. Oh yeah. Oh what? <laughs> Sorry. Because you need a special. And we got to use a site and see if that would work for us and see if that was something that we'd want to use on our homestead. Better at it than when I started. <laughs> <laughs> slowly, slowly walk forward. Yeah, then you cut a bit more. <laughs> Maybe we need to get one so you can do this at home. <laughs> this is how you can mow the front lawn. What do you reckon, Chris? No. <laughs> it gets way easier. Like, I'll 
Keep it on, flatter on the ground. Yeah, that's what I kept doing. You almost need to like push it into the ground, but without dabbing the ground. Yeah. It took me so long, and I still sometimes do it, and I'm like, oh no, that was wrong. It's actually not that hard. No. <laughs> it's just getting used to it. And apparently, if you're doing it right, like you do it for ages and your arms don't hurt at all. Yeah, I've heard that. And that was lovely and fun. Then when we came home, I went out for a homeschooling mum's night out. And that brings us to the next day, Sunday. <sighs> Sunday morning, we discovered that the little itty bitty lamb that we had rescue, rescued didn't make it. Unfortunately, we don't know why. He was up and walking about Saturday, Saturday night. Whether one of the other sheep in the herd had kicked him out and he got cold, I don't know, but they were in the sheds. And there really is no explanation to why he died. Moving to the chicken, chicken area later that morning to do the chicken chores, we discovered that six guinea fowl had died in one night. But it gets worse. And this is why I haven't made videos for the past week. Um, we found that Oreo had sadly passed away overnight and there was absolutely no reason why. So I've been pretty devastated. I love that lamb like people love their dogs. He had the best personality. He would come over for scratches. He would do a little bum wiggle and give me kisses when I scratched him. And he was just too cute. So, um, so we're all pretty sad and frustrated and unmotivated at the moment. Mm -hmm. So I've had a few days off trying to deal with it. Um, and yeah, it's, it's time to get on with it now and um, celebrate our one year anniversary on the farm which is coming up in two days. So that's what's been happening guys. It's been um, a hard week but we look forward to getting back into it and keep homesteading, keep going on and doing what we're doing here. Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow.